Kobe something. Can we get over it? GG, GG, Kobe, GG. That's his, Gigi's his daughter. That's where he was going. So he must. Maybe he was going to land at the at the complex. Just lost IFB. I've got you back. I've got you back. It's growing. It is growing slowly. It is. Yep. 
Got it. Yeah, Veronica, the crowd is definitely going, growing here at LA Live. In fact, there are now two separate memorials here within the barricades of uh, LA Live. You can see, as you mentioned there, they are bringing in tons of yellow carnations and Laker purple roses with rose petals spelling out the names, as you mentioned, Kobe and Gigi. Another memorial growing over here near those barricades directly across from the Staples Center. Again, lots of memorabilia starting to pile up here as this crowd continues to grow. As this the city has grown in the last 20 years with Kobe Bryant. This crowd grew up with Kobe Bryant and watched him grow from a young man into uh, the uh, sports legend that he eventually became. And it is uh, just so evident in this scene right here as we watch this crowd grow. And I expect we will continue to watch more and more people flow into this area into the evening hours and I imagine this will be the epicenter for lots of memorials to come in the next few days, guys.
So why, why would he have ever gone in that direction? Wouldn't have made any sense. He's straight up the 101. Just follow the follow the 101 straight up.
What is that? Oh, that's that's magic. Where's the red carpet for the, oh, I see it. I see it. It's all the way in the other. Way to stand your ground. I like that. No sense going over there. There's not going to be nothing to see from that high up. Nothing to see.
Hey, Christy. You got it. Hey Chad, I'm going to ask you uh, to when we when we go live to widen out and show the red carpet in proximity to uh, where all this is happening. I'll talk about it. You can just follow me along. You see where it is, right? No, no, no. Uh, widen out, up, 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 up. That whole white tent right there. So you can see they're pulling up right up there, pushing right. Uh, yeah, top near the top of your screen. So they're pulling up up there. And going through there, yeah. Copy. Why don't we start wide so you can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off by talking about the thousands so you can see the whole thing and then we can push into the memorial. Actually, you know what, Is that we'll, we'll start wide and then I'll mention how we're just a block away from the red carpet, blah, 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 and then we'll come back over here and push in on the, uh, the growing memorial.
Thank you. It's grown just in the last few minutes, Veronica. The number of mourners out here easily in the thousands with little memorials popping up in that crowd right there in the shadow of a huge billboard honoring Kobe Bryant above the Wolfgang Puck here at LA Live right across the street from the Staples Center, which is not only home to the LA Lakers, but is also hosting tonight's Grammy Awards. And you can see the red carpet here as celebrities move through right across the street expressing their condolences and reacting to today's, today's tragedy as well so just kind of a surreal moment here this is one of several spots that we have visited we were over at the la lakers training facility the ucla health training facility over in el, in el segundo on mariposa where there is a makeshift memorial popping up and now we've got a tweet from the city of calabasas they were concerned uh with a growing number of people trying to reach the crash site la county sheriff highly discouraging that they've blocked off the entire area shutting down las virginis now they are tweeting that the De Anza Park at Las Virginis and Lost Hills in Calabasas has been designated as a site to leave flowers or pay respects for today's victims. They're talking specifically about the grass area near the basketball courts at De Anza Park. So these memorials are continuing to pop up. I know you've been talking about the vigil scheduled for later on this evening at Lamert Park. That Lamert Park, rather, that's going to be a huge uh, event tonight, but here you can see a number of fans showing up in a zombie-like state of shock as these memorials pop up. Again, you can see lots of candles, flowers, and tons of memorabilia starting to pile up right there along Trick Hearn Way. And then if we go ahead and widen out, several other makeshift memorials popping up in the courtyard right here at LA Live where mourners are expressing their condolences. Guys, back over to you. You got it. You got it. Live picks coming up. How are we doing on fuel? So I'm being told that they were able to get the covered bodies earlier, Lori. Uh, so we actually have that, but they have now put up a 5,000-foot TFR over the crash site. So I, I'm not sure we're going to see it from, uh, from the sky. What time was that about? So right around, I guess right around 1 o'clock-ish, between noon and 1, somewhere in that neighborhood.
That, well, that's the problem, Lori, is that we're not going to be able to make it over there. There's a 5,000-foot there's a, uh, TFR now, and the visibility's not too great. Copy that. Hey, Lori, can you let Christy know? I think she was going to take us in, uh, at the half hour at 4.30. Alex, I've had a lot of fans come up to me and ask where they should bring their flowers. And the city of Calabasas has officially made a place there at De Anza Park for people to have to leave their flowers, to light candles, and to pay their respects. Still, a lot of people wanted to bring their flowers here, just kind of standing in, in a bit of a trance, looking at that hillside with smoke still coming out of the helicopter and trying to make sense of all of this. Right now, I am with Brian and Ricky. Thank you guys for being with me. No problem. And you have flowers, and, and tell me why you came here today. Uh, just to celebrate the life uh, of Kobe and what he's meant to the city of L.A., California, the USA, and he's like globally known throughout in many countries as what he's done, his work ethic and all, and it just feels unreal. And uh, pretty much just to say um, goodbye to also to, I mean, not only our favorite basketball player, but our biggest role model in life so I mean that's pretty much it. Yeah we were calling him a superhero a few minutes ago a man who was just a legend on and off the court who won an Oscar he was an author he was a documentarian uh, a father of course a husband uh, with with four kids I mean just a lot to balance he really was somebody who a lot of people admired and respected. Yeah it's totally true uh, 
like I was telling you earlier, I don't think I, there is a single athlete that I know of that has won uh, MVP, a gold medal in the Olympics, has won All-Star Game MVPs, and has won a, an Oscar as well. Just It kind of just goes to show his work ethic. Like He was so ready to be retired after he was done with the game that he went forward with that same mentality off the court that he did on the court. And obviously, hard work pays off, and there's no greater example of that than Kobe because he was able to win an Oscar. And I didn't think that was possible, but I shouldn't have doubted him. I mean, it's just... It's crazy to see like how far he's he's came from Lower Merriam from his rookie year. I started following basketball like in '96, '97, so I pretty much started coming up on his rookie year, and just to see like how far he's came from the I mean, not even being polite, uh, picked as far as like rookie of the year to All Star to MVP to a five time NBA champion to what he's doing now or what he was doing now off the court is just a huge inspiration and. Just a huge loss. I mean, not just for the city of LA, but just worldwide. I mean, just, just, just tough. He was so dedicated to excellence that a few years ago, the city of LA dedicated a day to him, August 24th, in honor of his two numbers, 8 and 24. And that just is an example of what he did, not only for, for the community, but for the world, really giving himself to the youth, helping people go to college um, but really what he was really most proud of was his four girls and he was saying recently on live television um, somebody was saying you know you need to have a son to carry on the legacy and he's like no Gigi she's got it she's got this down um, obviously we know Gigi the 13 year old girl was also on this helicopter and died as well this morning at 10 o'clock now the NTSB is on its way here from Washington you can see uh, thousands of people here in Lakers jerseys uh, just basically staring at this hillside and trying to make sense of this. It's probably going to be a long time before we know exactly what brought that chopper down. Uh, it was about 10 o'clock this morning heading from Orange County to Thousand Oaks to Mambo Academy um, where a few of the girls on board were uh, had basketball practice. Uh, we know John Altabelli, the Orange Coast College uh, baseball coach was also on board. His daughter was friends with Kobe Bryant's daughter and they played basketball together. Uh, still learning the other names of the total of nine people who were on that chopper. Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gigi, John Altabelli, um, we believe his daughter, and the pilot we know. But the names will not be confirmed until the coroner has a chance to officially identify them. We'll have much more for you coming up at 5. But for now, reporting live in Calabasas, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Thanks, guys. Right, thank that you, was you. great. Thank you. Nice Appreciate to meet you. It. Yeah, thank you. Well. Thank, thank you. you. Very nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. So that is, it's going to air at 5, you said, right? I think so, yeah. All right, yeah. cool. No yeah. worries. Thank, Thank you. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Okay, sure. Um, can we interview this kid? And then we'll pull a bite for five, too. Okay, come stand right here, hon. Okay, tell, you can just look at me. Tell me your name and spell it. Uh, Christian Alvarez, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-A-L-V-A-R-E-Z. Okay, and how old are you? 
I am 10 years old. Okay, you're obviously a Kobe fan. Yeah. <laughs> um, tell me why you're here today and what's going through your mind. Well, I never actually planned to be here. It was all just like a serious coincidence because I was all, uh, playing one of my uh, one of my games in soccer. Yeah. Then until I found out, then my, my mom and my dad drove me all the way here. What did he mean to you? He was a very important part of my life. Like, besides like playing really good in, in every single game you played in, but he was also a very humble person. Yeah, that's true. Did you ever have a chance to meet him? Uh, no, but I saw him at one of the games at Staples Center. Oh, really? What was that like to watch the guy you've idolized so much on the court and just, you know, knowing what a good person he was off the court and then seeing him just the superstar he was on the court? I mean, it felt like a dream come true, it's like seeing him play. Like, he was, like like you said, besides him being like a great person on the court, he was also an amazing person off the court. Like, he did a, a lot of good things for the community. Um, anything else you want to say about why you wanted to come here today or what you think when you look out at that crash site? Well, I feel like, like very sad because like I feel like my heart has broken into two like seeing such a such a like amazing person like he was just like like be sitting there like in a pile of of like people and stuff thank you thank you very much anything else you want to say no, good job nice. thank you very much thank you oh no that was great thank you Christian thank you. do you want to say anything <laughs> okay, sorry, Kev. Last one. Did you ever meet him? Yeah. Oh, I had a feeling. <laughs> it's funny how you kind of know. Tell me your name and spell uh, it. Givo Ganja. It's uh, G I V O G A N J E H. And um, tell me about that. What he means to you. You you said you got a chance to meet him. I met him back in. Sweetie, I think we'll get you in a second, but can you go to the side for one second? <laughs> Just because it'll be awkward if you see part of your arm. Um, you. I met him back. I think it was in 04, 05. Um, he's a huge FC Barcelona fan, and back then Barcelona came to play at the Coliseum, and on that weekend Hollywood and Highland had a pep rally for all Barcelona fans, and. Kobe was there, and I bumped into him, and we chatted a little bit. Really, really nice guy, approachable, um, very genuine. What, what did that mean to you to, to meet him? To kind of feel like you probably know him, and then to see him, you know. Well, he means a lot to me. Uh, not only because I'm a Laker fan, but because we, I'm about, I'm the same age as him. I'm 41 as well. So when he came into the Lakers. I was playing basketball as well to that, you know, that level where I could maybe play in college or do something like that. But uh, he means so much to me on a personal level, that mama mentality, the, the way he approached the game, the way he brought the city of Los Angeles together with the three-peat with Shaq and, and Kobe and later on down line with Powell. And do you have kids? I have nephews, but they're Laker fans, so they... They're just like just like us with Laker for life. To hear about his daughter dying as well. Um, that that really broke my heart. I mean, it, it just got worse and worse through the morning. You know, you hear about Kobe, you're praying to God it wasn't true, and then you know a few hours later we find out about Gigi, and and my heart goes out to the family, the Bryant family, Vanessa, uh, the siblings, mom and dad, everybody in the Bryant family. And also to the Laker family as well. I mean, we get, we're, we're a tight-knit fan base, Lakers. And I feel like we're all family. That's why everyone's here. Kind of recognize people. Around. Yeah, you bump into a few people here and there. You're like, yeah, I remember you. I've seen you at Staples. I've seen you at <laughs> the parades. You're fan. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. That's thank great. You. Oh, thanks. Did I get your name? Yeah, you did. Okay. Evo Ganji. Evo, that's right. Thank you. Sorry, I'm listening to the program in my ear too, so it's hard to oh, no, 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 listen cool. to the person. <laughs> it should probably be on at five. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you a fan too? Oh, the basketball player? 
Thank you. Let me cut my boss's time, sorry. Yeah.